Good morning. I'm Joan Brecklin, and I'm the president of your Board of Trustees. And so I'm going to be doing the board update as our center update today. Um, I do really appreciate the um, right, I'm in the right place at the right time because I'm actually the main Sunday school teacher today. <laughs> so I have some help in there right now, but I'll be leaving right after this so I can be there. Okay, so we um, on the board had our annual retreat yesterday, and it was a day of authentic communication, um, excitement, passion, energy. Um, we just had a wonderful day of generating our next steps together. Um, so I wanted to just take you through that day and some of the things that we talked about so you'll have a sense of where we're headed together, all of us. Um, so we begin with taking a look at how we as board members and ministers wanted to show up in our work together. We renewed and expanded our commitment to deepening our understanding of mission-centric ministry and our roles as leaders in that. It's an ongoing process of, of growing into that. Um, we committed to continuing to deepen our own self-awareness and to move into a new level of energized engagement together. And we committed to becoming more intentional and deliberate in connecting everything we do to our mission of transforming lives and making a positive difference in the world. And as part of that effort, uh, Dr. Jane will be leading us into a practice of the 15 commitments of conscious leadership over the coming months. We've begun this process this month with practicing the first commitment of taking full responsibility for our own lives, circumstances, and well-being, and supporting others to do the same. So that's our project for this month. Um, then we discuss the, the results of the conscious conversations process that we've been sharing with you over the last few months that many of you have participated in last year. Our overarching goal is to move intentionally and fully into becoming a mission-centric ministry. We agreed on three areas of focus. The first was um, engaging more in service that would impact the Spokane community. Moving in this direction will lead us into a fuller manifestation of that part of our mission statement that says uh, we're here to make a positive difference in the world. We acknowledge the many ways in which congregation members, the ones we knew of, of, of how congregation members are already volunteering in the community um, and briefly discussed possible future group efforts such as projects um, addressing homelessness or the environment. Um, our second focus was connecting with a broader demographic, increasing the diversity of our congregation uh, with a particular emphasis on reaching younger adults and families with our unity message. We explored ways to do so, including creative marketing strategies to build relationship through a stronger online and social media presence, as well as increasing our understanding and capacity to adapt to the cultural patterns and needs of younger adults and families. An integral part of this goal, of course, is also having a thriving um, and unique youth ministry program and letting people know about what we're doing. And our final focus was on community building and increasing ownership here at Unity. Ownership is a central principle of mission-centric ministry uh, that can take the form of participating in classes and events, um, volunteering here at the center, um, and contributing financially. It's about the spirit with which we do these things as much as it is about doing them themselves. Uh, when we participate and give back from our hearts, we are in ownership. So ownership and community building are inextricably connected. As we feel more connected to this community, we're more motivated and have a, better, a higher desire to engage with it and support it. And on the flip side, as we do those things, as we come to events and attend services and, and go to classes, as we volunteer and as we give of our abundance, uh, we are also feeling, we're going to start feeling more connected to the community. We've already got dynamic plans underway for the fall um, in ways to lead us to connecting more deeply with one another, and you'll be hearing more about that in weeks to come. So within the mission-centric model, we are all partners. So as we look at these three areas, the board will be um, setting goals in those areas, and then we'll start seeking partners from the community, which means you, <laughs> um, to form teams to flesh out these goals and bring them into manifestation. So we are all in this together, and we'll keep you posted as those opportunities emerge. 
And finally, um, well, there were other things we talked about, but the, I just wanted to touch on the main points. Um, we begin our discussions about the ministerial transition process, knowing that in a very short 16 months, Jane and Gary will be departing from us. And so we just decided to begin to explore the options for how we're going to do that um, in kind of through the rest of, of this year. We'll just start the process of looking at how to do it, and then, of course, we'll be in the process from there on out. Um, but we have this advantage of having this, this big lead time to really uh, look at where we are and, and where we want to be um, at the point that we make that transition. So I just wanted to again remind you that you are always welcome to contact any board member with any perspectives, ideas, questions that you have. We're more than happy to engage with you and, and um, include you in, in this wonderful process. And I just wanted to ask the current um, board members who are here to stand up so people are reminded who they might connect with. There are a couple of us missing today. Um, but anyway, here, today, here are the people you can touch base with. <laughs> I just wanted to finish with a final, um, the songs were so perfect today, so it was bring it on, everything new, I'm ready for my next thing to do. Thank you.